As the National Suicide Prevention Hotline gets an increasing number of calls, the FCC is recommending a new three-digit number. People needing help would be able to dial 988 instead of the current 10-digit number. In 2017, over 47,000 Americans took their own lives. And joining me now is Dr. Robbie Ludwig, a psychotherapist. And we were having this conversation in the break. I was very interested in this because 47,000 people that actually took their lives, there was actually the suicide prevention hotline got 2 million calls, 2.2 mm. million calls in 2018. How desperate are people? At what point do they make a call like this? Well, they probably are afraid that they're going to act on their impulses, which is why they call. And it's a good thing. It means that they want intervention. They want help. And the research has showed that if you can get to somebody either through family or friends or a phone call like this within 20 minutes before actually trying to attempt suicide, the pain won't go away, but the treatment is very successful in terms of getting through to the other side. Former Senator Orrin Hatch really got the ball rolling on this. And then um, Ajit Pai, who's the chairman of the FCC, they said he picked up the ball and ran with it. He said crisis call centers have been shown to save lives. This report recommends using a three-digit number to make it easier to access the critical suicide prevention and mental health services these call centers provide. I intend to move forward on this recommendation. Apparently, it's technically kind of difficult to do, but the good thing about it is if you make this phone call, you get you get sent to somebody who is local who can be mm -hmm. able to help you in case there's some, an, an emergency. How important are those minutes? Very important because a person when they're calling is feeling very hopeless and helpless and they need someone to remind them that there is a positive future that's possible for them. Mm -hmm. So this is an amazing, um, I, I'm so glad to hear that this is getting put in place because also when someone is depressed, they're in a regressed state, they may not be able to remember a longer like number. Tongue, yeah, right, right. And this number would crisis, be much easier. Right. I also wanted to play for you some sound from the New York uh, Police Department, the commissioner. Mm -hmm. They've had nine suicides there mm -hmm. this year. Listen to James O'Neill here. You think, that, okay, this is going to be the last one. And, and last night, I got a phone call and I just did it. It, it. it just almost knocked me down. I just took the wind right out of me. I just, you know, you know uh, what the hell's going on here? And we live in this country that we have freedom, the con mm -hmm. you know, things are good, but still people can feel so desperate. Well, also think about a police officer's job. They are seeing the most heinous crimes, probably have underreported post-traumatic stress disorder. It's a macho field, so even though it's getting easier to reach out and get help, they have to be in touch with being vulnerable and being okay with that vulnerability. Mm -hmm. I also think that they need to restructure the way that they intervene um, and that probably they need to have yearly mental health checkups and that they get treatment on a regular basis. Is that similar to veterans that uh, yes. serve in war? Yes. And I think we view police officers differently and very often their pain is not recognized. We expect them to be tough. And they're vilified too yeah. now well, in, in, in today's some cases, day and age. Yeah, yeah. And, and for young people who are getting ready to go to college or thinking about a future major, maybe they want to go into uh, mental health work, um, is working at a suicide prevention hotline like the one that the FCC is going to help create here, this national number a, a good way to get in touch with that absolutely you want to find any center that can give you experience where you can learn how to be a peer support learn research be a part of research mm -hmm. as well well they're doing a great thing there the trump administration through uh, ajit pai at the fcc uh, dr robbie ludwig thank you this is good news yeah it is indeed